some paper y'all because Swala from Iceland is singing the song paper at Eurovision 2017. Should we talk about it? Let's do this! Iceland has chosen Svala for Eurovision 2017. She's sending a very contemporary on-trend track in paper. Paper can bend, paper can fold, paper can burn. And paper has weight. You know, this paper is excellent. You know, cuts through the Nordic beat, stirring a wave of emotion. You know, she's edgy, she's cool, she's... Mm. This is brilliant. I think this is really good. You know, Iceland, again, is on form. Um, they were never off form, but I mean, last year was very unfortunate. But I think this year, this will cut through to the final with ease. Yeah, any woman who will willingly film their music video in an abandoned fish factory gets extra marks from me, I think. Um, visually, she gets what she's doing. She's a bit severe, maybe, and that might turn some people off. For me, I think it really works. She stands out, and that is something that you need at Eurovision. And I love the song. I really think the song is good. Yes, it's a bit ham-fisted with the whole paper metaphors and, you know, cut right through, stick like glue. All that, okay, you're rhyming like arts and crafts for the sake of it, but I think musically it really works. I don't love that kind of like rappy breakdown bit. This really works for me. And I think that out of all the Nordic songs, this is probably one I enjoy the most. What I love about Svala is she's kind of like the love child of Bjork and Jay-Z, you know, and then, she was, <laughs> and then maybe she was styled by Jesse J. She's just combining so many elements. She's because cool. She's decidedly Nordic, but then she's also got that British rough edge, yeah. like the Jesse J thing, and then the, the hip-hop elements from a Jay-Z. It, it's a very interesting and fascinating mix. I think she's beautiful. I think she's stunning. I think she sells this well. However, I don't like the song. <laughs> I don't like the song. For me, this is boring. It's just, I think it's well produced. I think it sounds expensive, but I, I just don't enjoy it. When it comes on, it loses me very quickly, particularly the live version. I think the studio version, it's pretty good. Like, I, I would listen to that, but it just loses power for me live. And, you know, the power, she's all I do, 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 do. I don't know. It just, it doesn't work for me. And I want to love this because there's so much hype around it, and so many people are saying it's amazing. But it just doesn't light my fire. Did you like it in Icelandic? I think it was the best song in Iceland. Oh, definitely. God, yeah. No, but, but in Icelandic, did you, did you like it? You know what? It was equally kind of meh for me. I, I, it just it doesn't stir anything inside of me, but she does sell it. And I, I, I hope they elevate the staging, because in Iceland, basically, I just remember her doing squats. Yeah, That's all I remember. It's not varied enough. And she talked about keeping it pure and simple, but I'm sorry, sometimes when things are pure and simple, it's a little boring. Pure and simple, like here, saying, look what happened to them. That um, was the number one. <laughs> it was number one. Yes, that is, that is true. Um, but yeah, no, I think that if they do change it up a little bit, and Iceland do have, tend to have a history, apart from uh, Hear Them Calling, of taking what they did at Song the Ketnin and then trying to evolve it a little bit further on. Um, and I think, you know, she'll have a good team behind her. She's not got Eurovision experience, but she's very good friends with Johanna. She's very good friends with Selma. So, you know, they'll give her tips. I expect good things from Iceland, because Iceland do not want to be left in the semi-finals for the third year in a row. And it seems crazy that it's 2014 was the last time Iceland were in the final with Polypunk and... That's just ridiculous it's in my head. bananas. Yeah. I, I, last year, even with some of the visual elements not working live, I thought that was a strong uh, song. Yeah, it could have gone through. Yeah, should have gone through. Yeah, you had dreams about it. I did. In <laughs> any event, we should probably give Svala a score. Let's write on the paper out of a 10 with a justification. This paper gets a 7 for me. Or from me. Um, I think this is I think this is really good. It was my favourite of the Icelandic um, pre-selection song van Pling, mm. how do you say it? I, I liked it then and I like it now. I liked it in Icelandic and I like it in English. I think this is really good. It's it's modern, you know, and it's cool. I am giving it an 8.5. 
Uh, it is one of my favourite songs of the season and I do continually go back and listen to it. I think that Svala's really cool and edgy, I can't wait to meet her. Um, I think that this is not a contender for the win, but I think this could be safely in the top 10 for Iceland. I would give Svala herself a 9 or a 10, she's amazing! But the song gets a 4.5. I wouldn't download it, and th that's kind of how I come up with my scores. Would I pay for this song? Mm. And I wouldn't. But I do wish her the best. I think that they can bring this visually. She can serve that fish. We saw that Fish Factory video. <laughs> so I think with the right staging, this could exceed my expectations. In any case, we are not the only Wee bloggers on this panel. No, we're not. <laughs> there are more than 30 around the world who have evaluated the songs, and we have an average from these people who are in countries from Ireland to Romania to Finland Including to Australia. Including Iceland! Yeah, oh, and Iceland oh, as yeah. well. There are a few of them up there. Love you, girls. In any case, here is their score. Okay, for me, it's a little high, obviously, uh, but I think it's fair. Oh, it's low for me. It's way too low. I think that this is a genuine top 10 contender. I have to say, there's a lot of hype around this, William. I'm surprised you haven't tuned into it. Cause no, I've tuned in. I've just blocked it out. <laughs> I don't agree. There's a difference. Just because they're hype does not mean you should like a song. True, true, true. And I think the score reflects that as well. So you think that it's a fair score? I think it's a fair score. Uh, 7, 8.5, 4.5. So, it, it, yeah, it's a good mix. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we think. What do you think? Is Svala a northern light shining bright? Do you want to get down on her paper? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, add your comments too. And share your thoughts on social media and the Wee Wee Blogs app on iOS and Android. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.